like in, in the time frame available, like in the next year or two years, will there be lithium in the form that, um, that, that Tesla needs, which is lithium hydroxide, um, in sufficient quantities at a price that is reasonable and does not materially affect the cost of the Model 3? Tesla is considering constructing a second factory in Texas, but it will be a facility for refining battery-grade lithium. So how big will this factory be, and when will it officially start construction? Also, how much could Tesla get in tax incentives? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing, if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. In an effort to secure a steady supply of battery components amid surging EV demand, Tesla is looking to establish a lithium refinery on the Gulf Coast of Texas, the first of its kind in North America as well as facilities to support other types of battery materials processing, refining, and manufacturing, and ancillary manufacturing operations in support of Tesla's sustainable product line. Tesla will process raw ore material into a usable state for battery production. The process Tesla will use is innovative and designed to consume fewer hazardous reagents and create usable byproducts compared to the conventional process. The final product, which is battery-grade lithium hydroxide, will be packaged and shipped by truck and rail to various Tesla battery manufacturing sites, supporting the necessary supply chain for large-scale and electric vehicle batteries. According to data from the Global Energy Report, the world produced about 86,300 tons of lithium, of which China contributed 14,000 tons, Chile produced 20,600 tons, and Australia contributed 14,000 tons. The combined production of these three countries accounts for more than 56% of the world's production. In contrast, although the United States has the fifth largest lithium reserves in the world, it only contributed about 900 tons of lithium in 2020, which is equivalent to 0.1%. With this lithium refining facility, Tesla promises to contribute 15,000 tons to not be dependent on Chinese supply and to achieve its audacious goal of selling 20 million electric vehicles by 2030. According to some leaked information, the new battery-grade lithium refining facility is worth 4.8 billion US dollars and requires a site two miles long and one mile wide to develop state-of-the-art machinery for lithium refining. It will provide lithium to the Giga Texas factory first, which is now ramping up production of new 4680 cells using dry coat electro technology for Model Y, Cybertruck, and Tesla Semi. This facilitates an earlier launch of new products in 2023. In its Texas filing, it said the lithium project could be located anywhere with access to the Gulf Coast shipping channel. Tesla will also surely be evaluating weather factors as hurricanes are not infrequent along the U.S. Gulf Coast. Tesla is targeting the La Paloma Lost Creek area southwest of Robstown city limits for its proposed refining facility, where Tesla has filed for a property tax exemption. Robstown is less than 20 miles from the port of Corpus Christi and less than 200 miles by vehicle from the existing Austin area factories. The exact location will be south of the South Texas city of Robstown on US Highway 77 and County Road 28. This area is part of the Robstown ISD School District. If this site is selected, the facility will take about two years to build with commercial production targeted by the end of 2024. Tesla is prepared to invest $365 million into this facility through 2024 and ultimately hire 162 full-time workers by 2025. The biggest e-fee manufacturer is also going to hire 250 temporary construction workers to build the facility at an average salary of $52,500 a year. But then, who will be Tesla's raw lithium supplier? In spring of 2022, the company reportedly signed two significant contracts with Australian mining operators. Specifically, the lithium spodamine concentrate comes from Core and Liontown Resources. In addition, Tesla purchases lithium hydroxide from Ganfeng. As reported, a contract with Piedmont Lithium in the US is still on hold. Recently, Tesla has been secretly collaborating with another supplier, Sigma Lithium. The company's volume was nearly four times its average. Upon closer inspection, this jolt in Sigma Lithium's share price seems to relate to news about Tesla entering the refining space. 
Back in 2019, Sigma Lithium's CEO announced that the company had held discussions with Tesla about supplying lithium. He also added that Sigma Lithium would directly supply Tesla's plants. And Sigma Lithium is well positioned to do that if Tesla continues refining its lithium hydroxide. They have committed to producing lithium concentrate, which is the input needed for further refining. But there is still much uncertainty remaining, and this is all highly speculative. And given the requirements stipulated in the recent U.S. Inflation Reduction Act based on percent of a battery's mineral value, refining lithium into lithium hydroxide will likely qualify Tesla's batteries for tax credits of $7,500 even if it supplies some of the raw lithium from non-qualifying countries. So then how much could Tesla get in tax incentives for this facility? In the application, Tesla is vying for tax breaks from the Robstown Independent School District. Whether the district grants Tesla the tax breaks will be critical during the company's location selection process. The lack of these tax breaks would make citing the project in Texas less attractive due to the current economic environment. If the application is approved, Tesla is expected to get nearly $16.2 million in property tax relief over the next 10 years, including about $2.5 million in 2025 when the tax relief starts. The Robstown Independent School District filed the tax relief application, called Chapter 313. This Texas tax law allows a school district to offer property tax relief for up to 10 years. Tesla wants to cap the appraised value of its facility at $20 million even though it expects the property to be worth $254 million in 2025. Even if the property taxes are capped at $20 million, that could still be a windfall for Robstown ISD and Nueces County. Currently, the property on that piece of land is valued at less than $280,000. In its application, Robstown ISD said it expects the school board to finalize the agreement in December. Tesla footed the school district's $115,000 application fee, which is standard practice. Nueces County is also expected to reach a similar deal with Tesla to provide tax breaks. For Tesla, having its own source of battery-grade lithium would be a positive for it and its investors. This would give it a better control over its supply chain and lessen the probability that its business would be hurt by a global shortage of this critical battery material. Along with the benefit of availability, it's also possible that Tesla could reap a cost benefit, at least in the future anyway. So where do you think this factory will be built? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.